Hello everybody, my name is NHL2010 and today I'll be helping you run your GTA without any problems whatsoever. So recently in the past two months I've been asking support from Steam and Rockstar, but their support was really nothing to me and it gave no solutions whatsoever. So today I stumbled upon an Xbox thread on uh, for Games for Windows Live support and I believe that Games for Windows Live is like crashing my GTA at start so I think I have to like fix it right so I stumbled upon this uh, thread posted by GFWL support and I followed step by step what it did and it actually helped make my GTA start and make me play multiplayer so this is something that I see on Steam support especially through the midweek weekday yeah weekday uh, madness sale and so I want to help these people out. I want to help other people out before this too, like me, that wanted to play two months ago through the Steam Summer Sale. And here it is. So I'm going to put all the download links in the description, and you can install what's required for you. So you don't want to download Windows 7 if you have Windows XP, because, you know, that's not required. So I'm going to go to the Steam thread I uh, posted on the Steam discussions for Grand Theft Auto 4. And I copied a part of it from the Xbox thread. So what you're going to need to do is uninstall the Microsoft Games for Windows Live, Redistributable, and Marketplace. Then uninstall the Bing Bar, if you have it, of course. Uninstall Windows Live Essentials. Then uninstall Microsoft Silverlight. And then uninstall Windows Live ID Sign Assistant. And this might be missing from the Add and Remove Programs list, so you have to find it and remove any Microsoft Net Framework. So you have to remove any of them. And I removed all of them. I don't know if it just meant one, but I removed all of them. So it's better if you just remove them all because you're gonna be down all these after. And if you don't have any of these, that's okay because we're gonna, like I said, reinstall these afterwards. So after you uninstall all these programs, you're gonna restart your computer and that is crucial because you need to do that. So once you restart your computer, we're going to install Microsoft.NET Framework, depending on our version of Windows, so the operating system. So if you have Windows 7, you're going to install Net 4.0, which will be in the description. This is the link. And Windows 7 should only need 4.0 and not the client profile, because it just comes with it, I guess. So if you have Windows XP or Windows Vista, you're going to have to install Net 3.5 and the Net 4.0 client profile. So once you have that done, you're going to run Windows Update and update your computer with any important updates. After that, you're going to restart your computer and run Windows Update again for any crucial updates that you might be missing that might not let you play GTA on. After that, you're going to install the Windows Live ID Sign-In Assistant. And then once that's like installed, you're going to install Microsoft Silverlight. And then you're going to install Games for Windows Marketplace. So after these install, try to sign into the marketplace client and see if it gives you an error if it does google it and i could also give you help on steam support or on the youtube but this part was copied off the xbox but i'll try to support you as much as i can and post the error message of course and if yeah if if it works then install actually just ignore the fifth part but just sign in on um, windows marketplace and once you signed in, try to, if you're running uh, GTA through Steam, go on Steam, open up GTA, and log in or play offline on Social Club, and hopefully it should start if you have you know the f requirement like required spec spec specify specifications. <laughs> Sorry about that. And after that, you can install your Live Essentials like you had before for your Windows Live Messenger, and that's pretty much it. So. Hopefully this helped you out guys. Um I don't have the you know before or after because I just did it right now and I just want to spread it around. So hopefully this will help you. If it doesn't, I'll do my best to help you guys out. And I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and comment. Give me your uh suggestions and maybe criticize me, you know. I'm still trying to learn how to make better videos for you guys to understand and enjoy. So I hope this helped you guys out and peace. See you later, guys.